Welcome happy campers, it's me Amanda here with Cookville RV and Marine and today we're taking a look at this 2023 Grand Design Imagine 2800 BH. Before we get started, thank you so much for watching our videos. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and let's get started. Starting out strong on the outside of this Imagine, it's packed with lots of amenities like two entryways. As Grand Design said, you can have one way for your spouse and one way for you so you never have to come in contact or you can use it for a private entryway and for your guests. We also have a really nice awning area with this really large awning. It, it spans almost over that second entryway, but I kind of like that it gives you a little bit of space here in your outdoor entertainment space that isn't under an awning. So we can do a grill there. We could do a fire closer by and still have that awning out. Again, not on the windy, day, windy days, no windy days. As far as steps go, we've got a pull out from the exterior step for your private entryway from the factory and a step above step system over here for our main entryway into the living space. You can definitely upgrade, upgrade those with your purchase at Cookville RV and Marine. We can work that in and figure out how we're gonna make it perfect for you. But let's check out this outdoor kitchen. Outdoor kitchen, it has a small fridge that's perfect for drinks, condiments, and different things you're cooking with. And check out this capital griddle. We pulled it all the way out. It's on a really heavy duty slide system. It's even more ride branded. And it comes with this small metal top right here. So you can have maybe a place to sit some of your cooking utensils while you're cooking, or we can flip it up and it kind of becomes a barrier. So we're not gonna get any of that wood splattered with grease for making burgers and you can always keep some extra spices up here. I really like this. It's pretty far away from your uh, side door and side wall so you don't have to worry about anything and it's a really good quality one. So I love this but let's go to storage next. Here we are in the pass through storage. I don't necessarily recommend anyone staying here as far as a sleeping space but it's great for storage. Chairs, tables, uh, board games, cornhole boards, anything you need to take to your campsite, as well as your easy station here. When you get to the campground, we've got all of our water connections and uh, some of our winterizing tools. Also our solar gauges here, so we can see if we're using or charging that solar battery, as well as our battery disconnect, which is for the whole thing. So we have two LED lights in here that are also super bright, and you can control your front cap lights from this area, but let's step inside. Here we are right inside of our main entryway that goes straight into our living space. All of our controls will be on this panel that lights up when you walk up. Everything's easily labeled as well as our tanks and their conditions, even our awning and slides as well. We've got a little extra storage if you want a place to put your keys. We've got coat hangers and even a small place for your shoes down below to my right, but to my left, Check out these double teddy bear bunks. They're super comfortable. We've got lots of head space, so even an adult friend could stop and stay in your extra bed. Each also has their own window with those pull down blackout shades that work very, very well. And we have a light for each bunk as well as charging areas. So whoever lands here is gonna be pretty happy. And you have extra storage underneath. We can pull this up. It even has a clip. The mattress is in the way, but we can put maybe bikes in there if you've got kids coming along or anything larger that may not fit in that pass-through storage. Moving in towards the living space, you have our entertainment center here. We've got our TV that's on a swivel. We can make it face bunks all the way to the dinette. We even have our indoor-outdoor speaker system that is very, very close by, and we do have some connections as far as USB and HDMI. It is all hidden behind this nice glass compartment and check out all of this storage that they give you for maybe an extra pantry if you're carrying around lots of snacks or if you wanna carry some big party supplies. It's all here and really close to the entryway. For the kitchen, it's pretty standard. We've got an L style with an RV fridge, nice big LED lights in there, as well as a Furion three burner top stove with this amazing pot drawer. It has the pegs already in there. You can hear them rolling around. And uh, it's the biggest one I've seen in any of these models. So if you're a cooker, this is definitely a place for you. To the right under our fridge, we've got extra storage for wine or even some pet drawers for food and water for your pet. And we've got even more storage for plates, glasses, bowls, anything else you need. And all of this countertop space to prepare and even a little bit extra if you need to have a nice place to 
set some food, maybe appetizers, and even have a trash can underneath. But let's check out where you'll be sitting. In the only slide of this camper, it houses our theater seats as well as our U-shaped dinette. Both are major pluses when it comes to a camper life. You can relax, recline all the way to nap mode, and still have your drink and do some massage with the little buttons. Amazing. And this U-shaped dinette is perfect for a family if you're going to have a nice meal or maybe even you're working from home. It's a great space and this is a pretty tall table. I was really surprised, but it is a removable table so you can always switch it out if you want something different. Diagonal from your entryway is the bathroom option so your guests shouldn't get lost. We have plenty of space here for a person. It definitely beats the campground bathroom and you get a nice mirror with storage behind it. A really nice size sink with a black faucet that's really nice and all this extra storage down below for toiletries and a small trash can underneath there. We've got extra storage by our shower for any of the things that we need to keep close by including towels and just for reference I'm about 5 foot 11 and it's plenty of room in here. Last but not least the bedroom. It's a private bedroom with a barn style sliding door. We've got one window and of course our private entryway that does have a nice size lock and it even has that screen door just like the original door entryway. We have two reading lights that have white and LED light settings as well as two cubbies that have charging ports in them. Two wardrobes with lots and lots of storage as well as drawers for everyone and more storage up there. But what do you think of this bunkhouse? Can you imagine your friends and family on a weekend adventure? Let us know here at Cookville RV and Marine and give us a call or visit us online at cookvillerv.com.